Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Instagram for business and seeing how we can leverage that with Zapier and AI. Welcome back to the series where we tackle all 5,000 integrations found on Zapier and seeing how we integrate AI with every single one. In today's video, we're going to be looking at specifically Instagram and more specifically on top of that Instagram for business, as this is going to allow us to access more API within IG's backend which, you know, for example, allows us to publish a photo. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna rename this Zap to Instagram for Business. And essentially what we're gonna be doing in today's video is a very simple flow. Essentially, we're gonna have it so that every day we're gonna publish a Instagram post that has a AI generated image with an AI generated caption. So stay tuned. Go ahead and begin. We're gonna go ahead and to our trigger. And our trigger in this context is gonna be schedule. And we are going to do the event up every day. Let's go ahead and move my head over here real quick. We're going to do every day. We're going to continue. And then the time of day, choose whatever time of day is sufficient to your needs. We're going to do noon. And then we're going to go ahead and test this trigger. It will obviously work for us. And then from here, we're going to add our first step, which is going to be the AI generated image. Now for generating AI images within Zapier's backend, we're going to use OpenAI here as this is going to allow us to access DALI which is a text to image software. All right, so we're gonna choose the event of generate image. We're gonna continue here. We're gonna choose our account here, which is gonna be OpenAI for us. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue again. Now prompts can get very complex. If you're familiar prompt based, you can be able to sell a ton of prompts on that marketplace or buy a ton of prompts on that marketplace. So you can check that out in the description below. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna just do something simple like a dog running on the beach and then from here we're going to go ahead and just do one variation and we're going to do a size of 1024 by 1024 to ensure the highest quality possible currently we're going to go ahead and test that action once that action has been tested you will get a url here in order to see what the end result would be in this context you're going to open a new tab in your browser and then paste it once you paste it, you're going to get a picture of whatever your prompt was. So in this context, a dog running on the beach and, you know, that maybe looks like a terrier, but we got a dog running on the beach, which is perfect for our use case. All right. So now that we have our underlying image we're going to use for the Instagram post, we're going to need a caption for the Instagram post. Now this can get very um, complex. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to generate a very simple caption. But when I say complex, I am referring to the fact that not only can we, you know, use formatting tools and separating tools in order to ensure that the hashtags are niched down, the captions niche down. What we're going to do in today's video is a very simple, you know, generate us a social media caption with three hashtags and give it context to whatever your underlying account is about. All right, so in order to do so, let's set some parameters here. The first thing is that we're gonna up our model to GPT-4 as we are not necessarily manipulating data, we are creating comprehensional data. So from here, we're gonna do GPT-4, we're gonna do a memory key. And what memory keys are in this context, uh, think of it as like a machine that always you know, prints out the same size gear or same size you know, cup. It's going to ensure that consistent outputs happen every single time and there's less variance. For example, you don't want it one time where the IG caption has a quotation mark and another time it doesn't. This ensures that stuff like that does not incur. From here, we can keep the max tokens of 250 and let's begin our prompt. So we're going to say generate a, an Instagram caption. We're going to give it context. We are a dog fan page and post about dog news and funny pictures and then we're going to go ahead and add some parameters here now i want to clarify that obviously whatever your context is to making this caption you want to proceed with that but for parameters we're going to say um, generate uh include three niche hashtags and our brand name dog fun whatever your brand name may be if you want to ensure that it really understands your brand name we're going to add quotation marks here to isolate the data from here we're going to go ahead and hit continue and we're going to test this action all right perfect so as you see here we have bringing the positivity to your day with the dog fun some nice emojis we got three niche down hashtags but then we have those nasty little quotation marks now in theory what i could do here is 
uh, tweak the underlying prompt a little until we ensured that the output didn't have quotation marks. But let's go ahead and show you how to use a formatter block as this is going to be useful in other cases that you may have been running into when you have to kind of, you know, change the underlying output of a AI prompt. So we're going to do a formatter block. We're going to do the event of text as the underlying thing we are going to manipulate is text. From here, we're going to go ahead and use the function of replace. And essentially, our goal here is to take the input or the outputs of that conversation, which would be assistant response message. And what we're looking to remove is the quotation mark. And we're going to replace it with empty space due to the fact that anyone that runs a social media account knows that having quotation marks there is not a good look as it does look a little bit like what you know, what's going on here um, from here. We can go ahead and proceed as now we have the caption without the nasty little quotation marks. So we're going to go ahead and make our Instagram block here. We're going to Instagram for business. We're going to choose the event of published photo and we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to go ahead and choose the Instagram account we are working with today, which is going to be Web Cafe AI. The photo is just going to be that image URL. The caption is going to be the formatted version of the AI output. If you did the AI output, you're going to get the quotation marks, but we want the formatted data. Perfect. From here, we could tag users. This could be helpful if you're in a niche and you want to, uh, you know, expand a little. So you want to tag maybe three users here. So every time it posts, it will notify the underlying user that you tagged. And then from here, we could add a location, San Francisco, LA, New York, Chicago, whatever fits your boat. From there, that is sufficient of what we need to do here. So I can go ahead and test this action and let's see what it looks like on the front end. All right, perfect. So as you see to the left of me, we have the Instagram post. We have the AI generated caption as well with the three niche down hashtags as well with not having the underlying quotation marks. Good stuff here. Now, one little tip I wanna show y'all is the ability to add fixed text. So in theory, if I wanted to do this, and then I put, you know, at web cafe AI, and then we have put hashtag dogs, hashtag dogs fun. Essentially what this will do is that every time this runs at noon, it will push out that AI generated caption. So it'll be unique every time, but it will always be pushing out this text here as we have identified that as fixed text rather than variable text. Therefore, making sure that maybe on your account, you have three main hashtags you want on every single post in order to ensure brand exposure. You can go ahead and place it there. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Webcaf AI. If you want the flow we just built in this video, check out the video description below. We are doing a ton of stuff when it comes to AI and Zapier and AI automation. So check out the playlist at the end of this video as it's diving into all 5,000 integrations found on Zapier and seeing how we can leverage AI in every single one. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.